Hi, welcome to Hallie's Creations. Today we're going to be making fairy lights. This is an example. Let me just turn it on here to show the little magic in it. It's kind of fun. And what I've done with this one is I've put lace on it and I've embellished it and it's super easy to do. It just takes a little bit of time and a little bit of patience. So go gather up your stuff, get yourself a cup of coffee or your favorite drink. Let's sit back and let's enjoy making neat stuff together. And thank you for stopping by Hallie's Creations. Let's get started. So getting started. <laughs> I'm going to get going. So here's for you on the lights if you have the colored lights or you can use just the plain lights. And I'm going to just show you a real fun way to do these. And these you pick, you pick up at Amazon. They're not that much. I think I paid not even $10 for like six of them. So not that bad. So what we're going to do is I'm going to actually take put that bottle aside because we don't need that anymore because we're going to work with this one. So we're going to take this out for right now just because we want to work on it. And what you're going to need to do a really cool fairy light, um, this one, like I said, is going to be pretty easy to do, Mod Podge. And no, I don't get paid to sponsor anybody because I'm just not that, I'm not there yet. But Mod Podge is a crafter's best friend. So get your Mod Podge. We have some big pins here because we're going to use those to hold the pins, um, the lace down, and a one inch brush, or you can use the sponge. Both will work. And I like these little dabbers. You get them at the Dollar Tree, they cost one dollar. <laughs> so get these at the Dollar Tree. We're going to use this to frost it. I use some Mod Podge to frost the bottle. So, what I did is I picked out some lace already ahead of time. This is kind of cool. You know, if you can see that, it's got like a little pattern in it. And then this one is another one that I, I had pulled out. And that's kind of a cool, pretty cool too. And that'll look really good on the bottle. But I'm going to actually go with this one. And what you're going to do is you're just going to measure that around your bottle and get your, you know, your picture in there. You're seeing that you want. And for me, I want that little house in there. I think that's kind of cool. So I'm going to do that little house with the tree. And I'm going to trim that down. This trims down to be about six to seven inches roughly, but you can measure it to your bottle. That way you get it nice where it's going to go. Okay. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to Mod Podge this on. So it's super easy to do. And I like to use these boards when I'm working on my stuff. That's a one inch brush again. You can pick these up at the dollar store and they cost a dollar. <laughs> so just gonna put this on and you don't have to be real precise with Mod Podge because like I've shared before in my other videos, Mod Podge dries clear. And we're gonna frost this out anyway. So when you see how easy this is, you're gonna go, oh my God, I so want to do this again. You're gonna be asking your friends for their wine bottles. <laughs> That's what I do. I just do a shout out on Facebook and I just pick it up. So here's a little pattern I'm going to put on the bottle. So for you guys can see what I'm doing here. And because that bottle has the curvature to it, you kind of want to, you know, make sure you get it all fit to it. Kind of just snug it down in there. And then we're going to Mod Podge over that. So we're just going to take the Mod Podge. And see where that seam is? We're gonna go over that seam with the Mod Podge. Simple as that. And we're just gonna do that all around. The heavier your lace is, you might have to get like a um, some pins to hold it down while it dries. But this is pretty thin lace, so this one should go on pretty easily. I'm just gonna paint this right to the bottle. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. And I go kind of fast on these shares because I, I know we all have a life and we have stuff to do. But looking for something fun to do. And don't worry about it if it gets wobbly like this on the top because we're gonna, we're gonna bling that out too. So it really doesn't matter. Just get the, the main body part of it, Mod Podge down, okay? And just kind of put that in there like that. And be real generous with your Mod Podge. Go to town with it. 
I mean, Mod Podge is a little expensive, but it goes a long way, so it's no big deal. Okay. So that's good for right there. So see how that's just all on there? And when this dries, you're gonna see this pattern, especially with the lights in it, and we're gonna take a look at that too, okay? So now just to do the top part, I know I didn't spend $10 for it. I buy this stuff when it's on, on sale. But on here, what you wanna do is you wanna make, make it long, elongate it, and you're gonna wrap it around like this. And we're gonna Mod Podge this on too as well. So I just wanna show you that part before I got it all goopy. So I'm gonna get it real goopy now. I'm gonna Mod Podge it. So you don't really have to worry about taking your necks off because I actually use that as a grabber to put my ribbon on. Your ribbon or your twine. So just throw your Mod Podge on there, get that on there really good, nice and thick. And now this is where the fun starts. <laughs> We're just going to, again, it's kind of, it's a little difficult when I'm doing it, showing to people, because I want to show you that, how I leave that long. And then I wrap it around. And because I'm right-handed, I'm going this way. You can go left-handed, right-handed, whichever way um, you want to go. But you just kind of wrap this around. And you've seen me do this before um, on bottles before. And you're just gonna spin it, spin it, spin it. And for you to make it easier, uh, you might wanna do this piece first before you do this piece. For me, I'm just kinda banging it out. I did this piece first because I wanted a little dry by the time I get done with this one to show you the embellishment part. So I kinda did it backwards, but it's okay. It's all good. So you just twist this on. And this is where you use your your little pins to kind of poke it together to hold it together because sometimes the sometimes the twine is real forgiving and sometimes it's not so much. Kind of like people. <laughs> sometimes we can be very forgiving and sometimes not so much. So, but you're just gonna twist this. So just twist it and twist it and twist it. And then I'm gonna mosh podge this down to the neck. Let's see how I have that thread there. That's just going to anchor it. Keep it tight as you're doing it. And do the whole neck this way. And don't worry about this getting all gunky and stuff because that just adds to the effect later. It gives it that frosted look. And that's what I'm going for on this particular style. I want the frosted look. Okay, see how that's coming along? And how this complements this? That's the thing you want to do too, is you want to have everything complement each other. So when you're picking up your materials, keep that in mind. You want to complement it. You could go down as far as you want to go down, but I'm going to, just for time's sake, we're just going to stop right here. What I'm going to do is Mod Podge over this, okay? Mod Podge over your twine. Two reasons why I like to do that is one, it secures it. See how I just pinned that right in there? So it's going to secure it to your bottle. So the Mod Podge is actually gonna protect your twine from the dust and the elements and all that stuff as time goes by. So now that we've Mod Podge this, I'm gonna just tighten this up just a smidge because I put that on there, got that a little tight. Okay. On the back here where the seam is, okay. I'm gonna use these little beads these little pearls to embellish. So because I've already Mod Podged it to death already, I can just actually set those on 
and go up go up the seam with that which i'm going to do but i want to first get my ribbon and stuff on and i'm going to put those on last because those are going to be real delicate and those are going to fall off super easy and super fast this just, just a moment here while i get my hands clean <laughs> i'm going to use these beads to embellish the fabric i'm going to go up the back of the seam like a button like you do on like a bridal dress they have those buttons <laughs> And then on here, we're going to just use this. Normally I do this all after it's dry, but I want to um, show you how to do it. So I'm gonna do it right now while it's wet. We're going to tie that. And I'm actually gonna leave it long because I'm gonna make a, a cute little foo-foo bow for it. And that little foo-foo bow is just gonna go, you're just gonna go back and forth. See how I do this back and forth? Do that about three times. And that's gonna make like a really cute little fluffy bow. And when I tie it on, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. The thing to remember when you're making your bows is to always like fold them in half before you get your center. And we're going to tie this on. Now, if you had a pipe cleaner, you could put a pipe cleaner. You could put this on with a pipe cleaner. But because I'm just going to do this, and I'm going to pound it out. We're just going to do it right to the bow. Okay. You see how it's already coming together as far as the little foo-foo and everything. So I'm going to spin this around. You're not going to see what I'm doing right yet. But I'm going to spin it around. I'm going to spin it right back to you. I just need to see what I'm doing before I can trim this up. I have my glue gun ready here on the side too. I'm going to be embellishing this as well. But that's kind of pretty, just even without, but without the embellishments. And I'm doing like a fall type idea. These are another things. I get these at the Dollar Tree. They cost a dollar. <laughs> and these are really great when you're using, um, when you're having to use little tiny areas, as well as when you're using your glue gun. So we're letting that dry a smidge. And while that's drying, we're gonna get it wet more. Might as well just go for it. So this is what I'm talking about, this little um, sponge here. If you go around and you just dab that Mod Podge on, it cleans up your little fingerprints. And you don't go heavy. You're just using that as to give it like a pattern. And it's going to frost your bottle as well. So see how we're frosting it? And I'm also using it to kind of push the fabric down a little bit more, just to make it stay a smidge more. So we're gonna move this over. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm going to do this back where you can see it too. So I'm going to hold this up to the camera for you can see it a little bit better. But if you can see the little pattern in there, almost like a fish scale pattern, it dries really cool. And then just to give it some flair and a little bling, I thought these would look really pretty on it. About this about the right color. Have all my tools here. <laughs> and we're just gonna glue a couple of these little guys, just to give it some, just to accent it. Just give it a little flare. I'm also gonna glue the, the bow too for it doesn't unravel. Because if this was to go to a client, I wouldn't want the bow to unravel on them because uh, believe it or not, not everybody knows how to tie a bow. <laughs> Did not know that. So I'm going to spin this around just for a second for I can dab my bow. And all I'm going to do is dab it like right in here. And it's okay if it shows some glue because I'm actually going to secure that down a little bit more. So we're going to do this like this. Bring it over where you can see it. And back. And 
And then of course, if you know me, you have to have bling bling on it, right? It has to be bling bling. It has to be halitized. So we're gonna add just a little bit of florals onto it. Just to give a little character. And to also make it pop a little bit. So I'm gonna, we're just gonna glue that right up in here. Okay, so I'm gonna get that ready to go. And I'm real funny because if I have florals that have pieces missing, I trim that off. So now that we put the embellishments and everything on, I'm going to put a little bit more embellishments and just kind of bling this out just a smidge more to make it just look. So I'm dabbing the bottom because I decided, after looking at it, I really like the way this bottom of this lace is. So I don't want to cover it up by wrapping anything around on the bottom of it. So we're just going to dab and frost that out to match the top that I did. And that's what I love about these little sponges. You can just dab, 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 and you are golden. So see how that's all nice and frosted? So, like that. We ran that up the seam just to give it a little character and just, it's, it's kind of sexy. I like it. It's kind of nice. It's like vintage type look. I like that. I like vintage. So that kind of goes with this thing. It's almost like a vintage bottle. Like, look at that. So we're going to let this dry. I'm going to embellish it a smidge more, and I think we're good. Don't overthink it. <laughs> I'm doing it right along the edge here just to push that material down to make it stick to the bottle a little bit better. And part of the thing too is if, if your fairy lights are kind of dull, probably need a new battery. So I'm going to replace the battery in this and um, I'll show you a final bling out as far as with the new battery. I think my battery's kind of worn out. I, wear, I use my fairy lights a lot. They're great night lights for kids, especially when the granddaughters are spending you know some time with you. You just turn on one of your little fairy lights, stick it in their room, and they are happy little campers. So we're just kind of working that in a little bit just to frost it out a smidge more. Got the back looking good, got the front. You can see the little pattern of the house. You don't want to take away from that pattern. So when you do have a really cool pattern and you're blinging it out, make sure you bling it out where you're not covering up your pattern. Because if that's part of the reason. Part of the process and part of the, the beauty of these bottles is how when you're using the lace like this is sharing that. And this is one of those things that if you're not real artistic and you're really not good at painting and things like this, this is a go-to fun little project to do. You wrap a piece of your favorite lace around it, you mod podge it down, wrap your cord around the top, throw a cute little bow on there, embellish it a little bit, and you're done. And a lot of the embellishments, if you have florals laying around your house, you can just snip a couple of leaves off, a couple of flowers off, and you're good to go. So the pearls I picked up at Michael's, you can get those at any hobby store. They're about $10. If you use your 50% off coupon, score, you're set. And it's a big, I mean, I've been using this for about six months now, and I still have plenty. It's a big package. But that's it. Bam, you're done. I'm gonna give you one quick spin, the before <laughs> and the after. <laughs> after you drink your wine and it's all gone or you have friends that have wine bottles and they're gracious enough to hook you up with their wine bottles, you get the green ones. There's hope for the green ones too because you just go with the autumn theme and it looks really pretty. 
They don't have to always be the clear or the blue or the amber. They can be the green and they can come out looking just as pretty. Okay, spin that around. This will be coming out as soon as this is dry. So will the other one. You just pull these out and your rope, I promise you, will stay if you Mod podge it good. If you want to put a little bit more bling bling on it, you can put some glitter on it. You just sprinkle it on your Mod Podge. Myself, I'm more of the less is best, less is more. So I just have that there to show you. Thank you for sharing your afternoon or your evening with me, learning how to make neat stuff. This is super easy peasy to do. Lace, ribbon, bam, done. Mod Podge, oh yeah, you have to remember your Mod Podge. This is the go-to stuff. <laughs> Every crafter needs Mod Podge. <laughs> so until next time, I hope you enjoyed our little share. And I hope that you have a good day and a better tomorrow. Peace out and may the Lord bless you and keep you. Until next time, bye. These will make really great gifts for your friends as well. So you have friends that are wine drinkers, just ask them for their bottles and you just wash them up and repurpose them. Don't worry about getting that top piece off if you're gonna wrap the twine around it. If you are gonna put lace on the top, then of course you wanna take that off. You can use toothpicks. The Mod Podge, pick up your little, put that on the back of your pearls, or you can just glue it on. I'm just going to stick it on there. Actually, I'm going to dub that out. So, we got the back looking all good. Oops, almost dropped it. Got the back. Okay. After you drink your wine and it's all gone. Right and, um, welcome to Hallie's Creations. I am doing a double, I'm filming YouTube as well as I'm filming Facebook. <laughs> Cause I want to stay connected with my Facebook people and, and my friends and family on Facebook. So I decided I am going to do two at one time. So anyway, give you a few seconds here to jump on and um, I'm going to log off and then I'm going to come back on where we have a clean start. So I'm getting ready to come on in about one minute. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Hallie's Creations, where making neat stuff is just fun stuff to do. You never know what we're going to make from week to week. This week we're going to do fairy lights I for my Facebook peeps too. Well, anyway, I don't need that cut. Anyway, thank you for joining me on Hallie Creations. Um, that wasn't good.